After overcoming countless hardships, you have at last reached the final room. You await the final question with sweaty palms. But before that, there is something that must be done. Yes, it's time to review your choices thus far. And so, laugh or cry. Here comes the last question. You can answer it if you wish or elect to not answer it. <coughs> Clothing, food, or housing. Which would you spend money on first? Are you absolutely sure? Me too! Me too! You have summoned your will and selected an answer. This concludes the questioning. There are no correct answers, only the path you have chosen. Well then, the time has come to announce your destined partner. Your destined partner is Lo and Behold. Oh my, thank you for inviting me here. Unworthy though I am, I, Elizabeth, will follow you as your destined partner. Going down! My, this place. It's as if I'm in a fairy tale. My heart is hearting from this sudden encounter with an unknown world. Sorry, my mistake. I meant to say my pound is pounding. Dear me, what is the meaning of this? My hand is thoroughly stuck with yours. I almost squeezed your hand to powder out of sheer surprise. It seems you have reached your destination. Who might this be? This seems to be a path where lovers who met their destined partners discuss their love for each other. What could be waiting up ahead? You are free to step forth hand in hand, curiosity and fear in your hearts, or you can refrain. In other words, we must head to an unknown paradise? You are free to step forth or Refrain from doing so. These are your apparent options. Now, step forth. It offers the freedom to choose, and yet, it's like playing the role of a weak human who's a slave to fate. There is very rich meaning in this display when you think about it. We are now alone here, as if we're about to begin a one-on-one -on -one grudge match. In addition, our hands seem to be stuck until this ordeal is complete. I sense a conspiracy behind all this. To speak plainly, my emotions are in a tizzy at this new experience. I wish to accompany you on this journey that makes my heart dance so wildly. Very well, let us proceed onward. I wish to accompany you on this journey that makes my heart dance so wildly. And for that, I cannot help but abandon my duties for a bit. Yes, there is no getting around it. Very well, let us proceed onward. Good heavens! Your face appears to be somewhat flushed. Your heart rate and body temperature are rising as well. I shall administer a shot. 
Now hurry and expose your bottom. Well, I would ask that, but I neglected to bring a syringe. What an utter disappointment. Very well, let us proceed onward. I will accompany you to the end, so I hope we work together well. Suddenly, all in attendance hear an announcement. My, my, what could be next? Up ahead, they see a bride and groom's joyous commemorative photograph of love. They confer between them whether to look at it or ignore it. A commemorative photograph of love? Could that be what I think it is? A recording of the limitless depth of love of those who recorded their nuptial vows onto a thin paper. To think we are privileged to view such a valuable artifact. Let us make haste towards it. My, will you look at this? When was such a scandalous picture taken? I had taken pains to keep our relationship from being exposed. Well, you'll just have to take responsibility for this. Or so I would have said, but this appears to be a fake. It's quite an intriguing piece. A prince and princess, like in a fairy tale. A carelessly thrown together photo of unknown purpose. What most piques my interest is this legendary style of embrace passed down amongst royal families. If a prince directs this skill at an eligible princess, he is guaranteed to take them back to his castle. I wish to experience such a secret art for myself once. <laughs> I jest. My playful side wished to make a witty croak. Spoke. Choke? Something like that. I have also heard that princesses can turn into sea foam. Could my foolish brother learn such an advanced skill? As his sister, I hesitate to say. But just as a certain city wasn't built in a day, a back-breaking amount of effort is required to hone a skill. I will have Theo carry me on his back for a thousand leagues as training. I call it Operation True Love. I have also heard that princesses can turn into sea foam. My, 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 how marvelous! Such warmth and precarious balance, and a sense of superiority, as if I'm looking down upon the world. This is an indescribable joy. Ah, oh, would this not be the perfect timing to say, oh, yes, ah! <clears throat> Ahem! Make way for your queen, peasant! Bow down before her majesty! <sighs> I am most satisfied. I have also heard that princesses can turn into sea foam or be the victim of a perfect crime with a poison apple. They may even wet a beast. <gasps> It seems to be a post requiring the strength to overcome strenuous ordeals. Though if only for an instant, I am honored to have experienced what it's like to be a true princess. Well then, let us proceed onward. Just imagining what might await us ahead makes my heart dance with wild curiosity. Due to my limitless curiosity, I inadvertently let something slip from my mind. Only those who have been chosen as destined partners are allowed to enter here. Since I have that right, I believe I should fulfill my duty. But I am ignorant as to how. I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you teach me the proper way for a destined partner to behave? I see. So maintaining one's natural state is important. But if I go full throttle and release my natural self, it could result in calamity. 
or worse. Hmm. Though it is unfortunate, upon deliberation, I have decided to restrain myself. Even this exciting journey will eventually... My, is that so? Then our current state of holding hands is truly proof that we are destined partners. Well then, I will hold back no longer and openly provide more physical contact. <laughs> will that do? <laughs> to be honest, I would like to go full bore on you. But I worry that I might accidentally squeeze all the life out of you. That is why I showed restraint just now. Even this exciting journey will eventually... I see. Though I am your destined partner, acting like a fool girl would be boorish, correct? Rule girl? Ghoul girl? Something along those lines. Even this exciting journey will eventually reach its destination. Odd. When my hand is separated from yours, I feel as if you'll... Hmm. Ah, please excuse me. That must have come off as quite bizarre. Well then, let us proceed onward. The long-awaited moment has come. The bride and groom are finally about to enter. The last moment of hesitation has arrived before you are to be wed. My, what an extreme turn of events. Through your own free will, you decide to vow eternal love to each other. So this is the final destination, the paradise of love. Is the end of our journey waiting beyond this door? I feel as if my heart is trembling in anticipation. Now, open the door together. Open sesame! You must vow your unwavering love for one another in sickness and in health. Now, vow your love. Please wait! You can't do this! Hold the marriage! I can't believe you're marrying another woman when you already had me! Uh, isn't anyone gonna laugh? Come on! A failed joke really stings! This wedding is not approved. This is your notice of its cancellation.